Max, how are we going to remember both these guys, Mayweather and Pacquiao? Because, you know, even back then, Leonard, I'm sure Leonard had to share a criticism, and now we view him in a whole different way. Is that going to happen with, with Mayweather and Pacquiao maybe five, ten years from now? We're going to remember them a different way than we do at this specific moment? Do you think people are very critical of them right now? I, I believe Floyd, yeah. Yeah, Floyd, um, Chris Mannix and I were talking about this earlier um, Floyd, you could point to and legitimately say, look, there were three or four guys you should have fought at a certain time that he didn't fight. First of all, Costa Zoo at 140 pounds, right? That didn't happen, but it was never really discussed much. Um, then, one, you know, and, and Floyd was fighting everyone right up until the point where he started to make money. It's like no good deed goes unpunished. When you fight everyone, you don't make the money as when you pull back and let the demand kind of build and zig when everyone wants you to zag and now he's making goes from 2 million a fight to 200 million for this fight so so it's tough to um, criticize the business strategy but as much credit as you get for making you know the primacy of business for making business your your uh, your uh, priority well, that comes with trade-offs, because when you make business decisions constantly, sometimes your athletic achievements won't be regarded in the same way as if you made athletic achievements your priority. Now, you could go back and argue, well, that's stupid. Why, wouldn't, why would I make athletic achievements ahead of business? But your point is to make money, and you'd be right. But then you are also judged on what you accomplished athletically, so you can't have it both ways. That said, Mayweather has accomplished a tremendous amount athletically. But the three fighters he didn't fight, uh, other than Costa Zoo, were... But, you know, fighters would get people brought up their names. They were in the same division that they could have fought. was Antonio Margarito when he was still wrapping his hands. I mean, but however he got to be that fighter, that's the guy that people wanted to see Floyd fight. Mm -hmm. um, Manny Pacquiao, uh, when he was obliterating De La Hoya, Hatton, and Cotto. And Shane Mosley, when he still had something left. And while he will wind up fighting Pacquiao and Mosley, it'll both be you know, at the right time for Floyd. That said, what about at the right, you know, the right time for Floyd? He's also ancient. Like, because of George Foreman and then Bernard Hopkins and modern, um, uh, uh, you know, modern medicine, essentially, and, and, uh, and, and what we know about nutrition, et cetera, and training methods, there are, not to mention PEDs, uh, rampant in sports generally, but fighters are fighting to a much older age than they used to. A fighter approaching 40, fighting at the level Mayweather is fighting, is unheard of. Mayweather, until recent times, would be considered one of the greatest older fighters. Of like That would be the whole story. Oh my God, can you believe how old Mayweather is? So it's a little bit unfair to Floyd to say, well, you're picking these guys at the right time. Floyd is, <laughs> Floyd is old. But, he, but that's part of his greatness is, look, I, I saw Roy Jones in his prime. Mm -hmm. Roy Jones better than Floyd in his prime. You know, Sugar Ray Leonard at his best, better than Floyd at his best. I thought Pernell Whitaker at his best was a little better than Floyd at his best. You know, but Floyd is right in that conversation. But if you, if I had to rank them, I would. So, so he's not like Willie Mays or Mickey Mantle in that analogy. Like the guys who were the best at what they did, but he's Hank Aaron. He's he might not hit fifty or sixty home runs in a year, but he's hitting forty-five home runs every year for twenty years. You know, that's how you wind up as the home run champ. Floyd is, has hit a level that's just about as high as, anyone, as any we've seen, even if there are a few that have been a little higher. But he's maintained that level, like Tim Duncan in the NBA. Maybe Shaq at his best was a little better. Kobe at his best was a little better. LeBron at his best. But Duncan is right there, and he's done it consistently every year for like 20 years. And so that puts you in the conversation you know, among the all-time greats, and Floyd has done that.